Hi, I'm Erica from Farmsteady, and today we're making a jalapeno cilantro lime kraut using Napa cabbage. Napa cabbage looks like this and is one of our favorite ingredients. It's super cool because the consistency really changes. So at the top, it's more delicate, kind of like a lettuce, and at the bottom, it has that fibrous structure that you're used to in cabbage. We cut these into bigger chunks, kind of like kimchi style, and the consistency and flavor in this one is amazing. You're getting all that herbaceous cilantro, lime zest, and of course some heat from the jalapenos. We love this as a side and also as a quick and easy meal. So we'll just put it on top of rice, add an egg, and call it a day. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit that button and let's get started making this jalapeno cilantro lime kraut. <laughs> For this recipe, you'll need one Napa cabbage, two jalapenos, thinly sliced, fresh cilantro, you'll want a half cup chopped, half a lime peel, thinly sliced, and one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. Normally, you'd just be using one Napa cabbage, but this one's giant, so we're using half. Instead of cutting these into thin ribbons, like other kraut recipes, we're going to go for larger kimchi style pieces. So we're going to just make a cut at the base and then tear it so that the pieces stay intact. Then remove the core. Then cut crosswise into two inch wide strips. If you don't have a Napa cabbage and are using green cabbage instead, thinly slice that. The Napa cabbage is more delicate, so it works well for these larger chunks, where regular cabbage, you want it to be thinner. Now sprinkle your salt all over. Get that mixed in. And you're going to massage this for about eight to 10 minutes. I like to mix some of the salt in and then add the rest to the bottom so that it's all in there. Now let's get massaging. Add in your cilantro and your jalapenos. Get them all in there. Your lime peel too, and then just stir that up so that it's well combined. Now let's transfer everything to your fermentation jar. Just add it to the jar and keep pushing down so more and more can fit. There you go. Pack the cabbage into your fermentation jar tightly using your hands and pressing down with your fist. You'll wanna add all the liquid that was released from the cabbage. This is going to give off a lot more liquid overnight, so check on it tomorrow. And if it's still low, you can top it off with some brine. Let's top it off with your fermentation weight and your lid and airlock. And ferment away. After fermenting for five to seven days, your crud's ready to eat and can be stored in the fridge. We love this one because it is such a fun consistency and flavor profile, but have tons of kraut and kimchi recipes at farmsteady.com, as well as more fermented vegetables, hot sauces, and loads more. So definitely subscribe to this channel, check out farmsteady.com for kits and recipes, and keep watching.